on your Samsung device, you have this proprietary private share, which is so amazing with the help of blockchain technology. Only the designated receiver can open your files. You can set an expiry date and guess what? The phone even creates a private number for you if you don't want to share your original number. So how does it work? You can send or receive files using this private number up to 20 files totaling up to 100 MB at once and you can set expiry date. From 1 minute to 180 days, you can select up to 5 people at once. If the recipient receives the file, the file is deleted from the Samsung server as well. So stop sharing your personal sensitive information like your card details, password etc through email, WhatsApp because those stays there and can be misused or shared. Visit the settings menu, security and privacy private share, Galaxy phone tab and Galaxy book are supported. Next time somebody wants to borrow your phone to maybe make a call or watch a video, play a game, what you can do is you can pin that application so it is now locked, they cannot close the application, switch to other app and access your private data, they are locked into this application and you can unlock it by tapping and holding the back and the recent keys simultaneously. Now the trick is if you have set a screen password, the phone will get locked and your phone data is safe. This is the best indigenous Android feature available on all the Android phones so definitely try it on your Android. To enable screen pinning, go to the security and privacy settings, then other security settings, scroll down to pin app. After that, open the app they want to use, pin the app from the recents and use screen lock type to unpin that is even if your friends know how to unpin, they will be locked out of the phone. On your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and also on most of the latest Samsung devices, you get Bixby text call which is some kind of IVR like when somebody is calling you, Bixby will answer the call and ask the person the reason for the call, whatever the person is telling you will be converted into text and shown to you. So you can simply reply to it by typing and Bixby will simply read out your text so the other person will think like uh, he or she is talking to an IVR. Very helpful when you are in a meeting and cannot talk and also extremely useful for people who cannot hear or speak. Bixby text call is now available in both English and Korean. So this is the future of AI. You also get the option to record your calls. You can enable it for all the calls, subject to restrictions imposed by your country or career. Talking of AI, Samsung is on another level in the smartphone arena. On your Galaxy device settings, advanced features, you will find this option called Smart Suggestions where your S23 will get suggestions from actions based on your messages you are viewing that is it will read your text and give you suggestions or reminders for example you will get suggestions for accounts places or web addresses and other information to enter based on your messages or activities on your Samsung keyboard and it gets interesting you will get suggestions for events to add on the calendar for example you booked a movie or a flight and from the text confirmation a calendar event will be added you will also get suggestions for reminders like you missed a call from your mom a callback reminder will come when it's time to go for a walk maybe Samsung health reminder will pop up on the screen for the sake of your privacy data for this feature never leaves your phone your Samsung Galaxy phone offers video call effects that is you can change the background color of your video calls and you can choose from all these colors even add a background image of your own so this is how you can maintain your privacy and this feature will also suppress background noise for clearer sound on your Samsung flagship you can maintain two social apps for two different accounts so this is how you can separate your personal and professional life so you can keep 
two WhatsApp apps for two phone numbers, two accounts in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, one for public or for your work and one for your intimate family members. All the compatible social apps will show up here and you can duplicate the apps here and you can even maintain two separate contact lists. Now, sometimes it happens that your phone is getting slow, the apps are not opening properly, taking more time than usual to load, so you can enable this optimization and also restart when needed, that is, the phone will automatically close background apps, clear cache memory and free up RAM to boost performance. Your S23 Ultra is running on One UI 5.1 on top of Android which is from Google so you get some Google services like with Google One service you can take a backup of all the data in your phone by signing in into your Google account. You also get options to enable find my device service with which you can locate and control data on your device which is lost so simply log into your Google account on your computer or other device and remotely delete all the data or track your lost device. You can also set up parental control using Google's family link that is you can supervise your kids phone uses uh, set restrictions to screen time or Google services. Now don't forget that Google is an advertisement company so all the Android devices gets advertising ID but if you delete the advertisement ID then no app can track you using this advertising ID to cater personalized ad. Google can also offer you autofill data like uh, if you want verification messages or other data to be autofilled into apps or browsers and also you can enable COVID-19 exposure notifications. Your Samsung Galaxy flagship comes with Samsung Pass which is an enterprise level security solution powered by Samsung Knox. Here you can save your super sensitive private information like your car details, your addresses, phone number and most importantly IDs and passwords of uh, different accounts in different apps, web pages. So no need to remember this sensitive information anymore or write it down anywhere. Simply use biometrics to securely access apps and services. Use your personal information. Another super handy security feature of your Galaxy phone is secure folder. So with secure folder, you are creating a private and Samsung Knox secured space on your phone where you can keep any data which is locked not just locked, encrypted and it's like an ecosystem inside another ecosystem which is separate from the original one. So whatever you do here does not affect the original apps. For example, the picture I have taken is not showing up here on the gallery but it will show up on the secure folder gallery. So this is how you can maintain a secret private life. The browser history or your Samsung notes, your files will not be synced with the original apps. And of course, you can set a password to your secure folder. You can lock anytime or it will auto lock when you lock your phone. The good news is you can add third party apps and games to the list. A separate space of the storage will be literally allocated to secure folder. Let me now share with you some smart advanced features of your Galaxy S23 Ultra. When you pick up the phone, the screen can light up and simply double tap to turn off the screen. You can do the same to turn on the screen as well. Even it works on the home screen on empty space of the home. Single tap for always on display on the lock screen. So this is how you can have a quick glimpse of your pending notifications on the lock screen or the notification bubbles on the always on display. With the help of the front facing camera, the phone can track your eyes and check whether you are looking at the phone or not. As long as you are using the phone, the screen will not turn off overriding the screen timeout. This feature used to be called smart stay. Now when you pick up your phone and the phone has pending notifications, the phone will vibrate. This feature used to be called smart alert. When you get an incoming call, you can simply put your hand on the screen or flip the phone to silent or mute the ringtone or simply click any of the hard keys. 
The last trick is palm swipe to capture that is you can swipe your hand on the screen to take a screenshot one of the oldest Samsung features and in addition to that you can also enable scroll capture that is after taking the screenshot you will get an option to scroll down so you can take a screenshot of a whole web page by scrolling down. I showed these tips and tricks back in 2012 on Galaxy S3 and Note 2. If you are following Gadgets portal since then, then you must already know most of these features. They just got rid of the fancy naming but I am really glad Samsung kept this. Samsung removed so many awesome features of Note 2 over time, so that's sad. For better one-handed uses of this big screen, Samsung is offering you one-handed mode that is, you can shrink the whole display to right or left and also up and down so that you can use the phone without stretching your hand. Only way you can use it with one hand, very useful when you are walking if you have a bag on the other hand. So how to enable one-handed mode? It can be found under advanced features. You can either double tap the home button or swipe down in the center of the bottom edge. This is the end of the episode 2 of S23 Ultra Tips and Tricks video series. Check the description for the part 1 and the upcoming part 3. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think my effort is worth the like, please like this video and also please subscribe to Gadgets Portal. This is Shukesh signing off.